It's gotta get stuck somewhere, right? Wrong. Check this out. Hopping on ice, no problem. Slippery wet surfaces, easy. Loose, uneven soil, keeps going. Grass, you name it. The control is phenomenal, and look at this. It can switch between totally different surface types mid-journey without missing a beat. But how does it know where it's going to land? How does it stay upright through all this? Here's where it gets really smart. As it jumps, complex AI algorithms predict its arc. I figure out the precise landing spot, and it uses these tiny flapping wings, not just for lift, but to actively reorient itself in midair, like a cat landing on its feet, but way smaller. So it hits the ground at the perfect angle, perfectly balanced, ready for the next jump. That is incredible real-time control. Which brings us back to this madness, landing perfectly even when the ground is moving unpredictably. But here's another crazy part. What happens if it bumps into something? Because it's so incredibly light, it has almost no inertia. Watch this collision. It barely even notices. This makes it surprisingly robust and agile in cluttered environments. It can literally bounce off things. Imagine swarms of these fully autonomous hopping robots exploring disaster sites, inspecting tiny pipes, maybe even hopping across the surface of other planets. The potential is huge. This tiny hopper from MIT could be a massive leap for micro-robotics. What do you think? Where could these be used? Let me know down below. Hit like if your mind was blown 